Step right up, suckers. Let's sign up to get hydrofracked. The huge gas corporations with their fancy commercials are telling us fracking's fantastic. Fracking, it's clean and safe. So let's talk to Josh Fox and Randy Moore about just how safe and secure these fracking jobs are. It's criminal to employ workers and have them work in an industry that's seven times more likely to kill you and do nothing about safety regulations. <laughs> It's criminal to be telling workers that they can transport mud when what, you're, what they're actually transporting is radioactive and chemical waste that will give them all sorts of health effects. You'll find pains that you never thought you had. Or I should say just chemicals you find them. Or create them. Feet, toes, ears, eyes. Lips swell up, tongue swells up. You guys know I'm working on a piece about worker safety uh, as a next piece in this. There's around the gas fields here. I can't get close to them anymore. This is a bad area, man. I don't know how these people are living here. Where are we? I don't even have a clue because my head's spinning so bad. In Houston, PA. Is that where we're at? I've interviewed a worker's named Randy Moyers who has chemical burns and sores all over his body, and he has peripheral neuropathy and he has brain damage. It's the end of the world as we know it, I guess, like they sing in that song. It's the end of the world and we know it, but I feel fine till the gas company comes. <laughs> and then what happens? Then you won't breathe, you won't, you'll burn, you get chemicals on your skin. You won't work. You won't work. You are not able to do the things you love to do. And they won't give you no money because they've done it to you. Um, and he can't play with his son for more than three and a half hours before he gets tired. He was a truck driver, now he can't drive over 55, he gets dizzy. He's, people are permanently mangled. So those aspects of that absolutely are uh, criminal. What was your day like when, when, you, when you punched in that day? Uh, went to the barn, uh, went over and uh, relieved another guy that was already on the pads. I was washing mats. What's, yeah. what's the mat from? Mat's what they lay down around the oil rig. You know, the drill that the trucks come up on, they set everything on, like a cement pad. Well, that would be a mat. They put them all together and that's why I was rinsing. Had a thousand of them put together, or stacked in the corner of a pad and big high lift come up and put them on a rack and he was in the containment. And they'd flip them over, you wash both sides, and they put them over on the clean pile, take them from the dirty pile. But they told me, well, you were using fresh water. It's not an economic or jobs plan when you're, when you're promoting jobs that are seven times more likely to kill you than the, than the U.S. industrial average. It's not a jobs plan when you are exposing workers to chemicals that are going to cripple them and make them, uh, give them illnesses. No, I got uh, it burnt through my boots and burnt my feet. And once it got on my feet that night in the truck, I took my shoes and my socks off, and my feet were red as that jug there. And I uh, had the heat on. I had to shut the heat off because heat with heat makes heat, I guess. And it was just burning me till I got back to the to the house over there, uh, the workhouses that they, we stayed in. Took a shower, was trying to scrub with soap and everything else. They still stayed red. Yeah. And uh, next morning I was covered with this stuff, covered head to toe, all my chest, everywhere. Big welts, big red rashes. Uh, and they took me over to the Tawanda Hospital. Three other guys took me over there and gave me antibiotics. What's antibiotics going to do with toxic chemicals? <clears throat> you know any antibiotic it can conquer a toxic chemical? The point is this. Um, the jobs are, um, are they're not, these are not 21st century jobs. There are no unions. There's no um, <laughs> health program. There's no uh, health insurance. You are working on those pads 
15 days on, five days off, and then um, you are, again, 15 days on, five days off, and you're exposed to those things 24-7 because you're living right near the place. My head spins all the time. My eyes are goofy. Uh, got this stuff in my ears. Buzzing, ringing. Bloated stomach. Had that heartburn for so long that it not only burns you the inside, it burns you the outside. Burning legs, testicles swell up the size of stinking tennis balls. There, there are no unions. Um, there are all sorts of reasons why these jobs are not suitable for us to even accept as employment. But beyond that, the job numbers are also very inflated. The things that Obama says in the, in the campaign speech are not true. Um, the gas industry counts jobs in a very strange way. Every time you set up a rig, every three weeks, it's a new job. So all of these jobs are vastly, the numbers are vastly inflated. All right. Well, who are we going to trust? Josh and Randy or the giant energy companies? You choose. This is Jay Wilcox. Thanks for watching from the front lines.